Roberts. Now, we have spoken a lot recently about how the legal sector has traditionally been one of the slowest industries to digitise. Although I have been contacted by a few in the industry that says that reputation is slightly undeserved. So with the advancement of emerging technologies such as blockchain, I'm quickly learning that these technologies have the power to transform the legal profession as we know it. Because lawyers aren't going away, in fact we need more of them than ever. And while law firms may be hesitant to embrace new disruptive technologies, legal tech is actually going to allow them to serve more clients. And these new platforms will not only expedite legal processes, but they will also increase transparency and trust for users. And I think that message is now being delivered. So I recently came across a company called Monax, which is an open source universal blockchain platform for smart contract technology. And Monax also founded the Agreements Network, which is a decentralized contract management platform that uses smart contract technology to create, prove and operate legal agreements. And it was all built to revolutionize the way lawyers, businesses and consumers transact across the globe. So I invited Casey Kuhlman, CEO and co-founder of Monax, to discuss blockchain technology's transformation of legal functions, including the impact that it has on the field of law itself, and what prime legal digitization trends he is noticing in 2019 and how that will help shape the future too. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to Edinburgh so we can speak with Casey Kuhlman from Monax. So, massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Sure. My name is Casey Kuhlman. I'm the CEO of a company called Monax, and as I'm a former lawyer myself and a technologist by habit, and we are seeking to do something very new in the legal technology space, namely building a platform that allows uh, small and medium businesses to manage and track their uh, contractual obligations in a digital platform. So someone that's been in the industry, you know more than anyone that the legal sector has traditionally had one of those reputations of being one of the slowest industries to digitize. I mean, why do you think that is? And are you noticing that changing at all? Yeah, I, I think that uh, lawyers have a reputation, which I, which personally I think is unwarranted, uh, that they are very slow to adapt to new technologies. And if we look across other um, professions, I don't I don't think it necessarily holds true that lawyers are um, extremely slow to adapt technology. Uh, what we see, though, on the other hand, is that legal as a business function, it, it's sits between and across uh, company boundaries, Uh, namely when you go into a contract between various companies, that contract is built to be the rules and interface between and across various companies. And, and, And so if you take that as a starting point and then you want to say, okay, we we like new technology and so we want to digitize this function of our business, then you need to have an infrastructure layer on which uh, to uh, manage uh, things that happen across company boundaries. And and so our hypothesis about one of the main reasons that the legal functions of business have been in previous generations of technology unable to digitize themselves is really more from a technological capacity rather than uh, uh, necessarily uh, lawyers are very slow to adapt to new technology and if we look at blockchain it undoubtedly has the power to transform the legal profession as we know it so can you tell me a little bit more about exactly what monax is and also the kind of problems that it will solve for lawyers and and what makes it unique from other solutions out there Sure. Just one point of clarification is is that Monax itself is really focused on uh, helping the legal function of businesses, which is not to say that uh, helping lawyers is out of sight, out of mind for us, but we're very much focused on um, how to help uh, businesses digitize their legal function. And 
Uh, our company has been in the blockchain space for coming on five years now. And what we found is uh, that the core value proposition of what blockchains can offer in a business context is the ability to run and manage infrastructure, uh, data infrastructure, sorry, uh, across and between company firewalls. It, namely, it's an authenticated layer that runs, uh, that runs, um, that is ran by multiple companies uh, across an ecosystem. And, and and so if you take that value proposition um, at face value and you say, well, if the reason that contracts or the legal function of companies has not been digitized is because it needs uh, this layer of, uh, um, uh, of an ability to be managed by multiple companies, then what we have is a really, really nice framework on which we can start to think about uh, building digitized systems. And and this is uh, fundamentally what Monax is working on, namely the ability to manage and track obligations that uh, have been agreed to by parties after we have a deal. And so we put those uh, into a blockchain network called the Agreements Network. Um, and Monax is a small business focused user interface and integration layer on top of the Agreements Network. And that enables companies to very simply and easily um, understand where are we within all the rights and obligations that we have agreed to do.